Hi there, welcome to the second video of our financial literacy and management course. My name is Peter Pren, I'll be your trainer for today. So first of all, in, in the first video, we had a look at the introduction to financial literacy. Today, we are going to analyze together budgeting and debt management. So first, we'll start to discuss how you can create in your budget. And then for the second part of this video, we are also talk about managing debt. For the last video, the third one, then we are going to talk about investment and retirement. So for today, we are going to start with the basics of budgeting. So budgeting can be quite tricky, but it's very important to clarify what are your goals and to have a strategy for each of your paycheck. This, of course, involves tracking your income and expenses to plan and ensure that you are living within your means. This is, of course, very important. And then why it's so important to have a budget? Because without it, you can easily overspend, save less and accumulate that. And that, of course, you should always avoid to do so. For this reason, having a budget will always help you to prioritize your spending, saving for your goals, and to always feel that you are in control of your financial situation. So now we are going to share with you some steps that you can use to create an effective budget. So first of all, you should, you should always keep track of your income and expenses. You should list all of your different kind of income streams and of your monthly expense and then to sort them in different categories as we can see here on the graphic on the, on, on the right this gives you a very clear overview of your or all of your expenses and in then in, you should also set realistic goals so when you're creating a budget your short-term and long-term goals should be very clear then you can use them for example there and you can save for uh, for traveling, for studying abroad, or for your retirement. Then it's also important to prioritize your primary necessities in your budget. The primary, the, your primary necessities needs to be always prioritized. It can be accommodation, groceries, or service utilities. They always need to be covered on your budget. Then for the, the fourth step, it's to plan for your savings. So each month you should you should uh, set um, set aside a part of your income to your savings. This should you should consider it as a non-negotiable expense. And then it's also important that um, you also you have a somewhat flexible budget in order to um, to change it as your financial situation also changes. Now, for the second part of our video, we are going to talk about managing debt. Let's we'll start with the basics. Basically. It's important to, 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 to manage your debt in order to make sure that you never, it never gets out of control. For this to happen, you always need to make sure that you know the, your total debt levels, you know what are the interest rates that are being applied to your debts, and to also know um, to prioritize your repayments. Why this is so important? This is important because um, this is will ensure that you can meet your repayment obligations without compromising your financial stability. So here we prepared some strategies for you that you can use while you are managing your debt. First of all, you should list all of your debts. This is very helpful then to have a look at the, the amounts that you own, the interest rates that are being applied at the moment, and um, the deadlines for your, re for your repayments. Then you should uh, prioritize the, one, the, the debts that have the highest uh, high interest, because those are the ones that will, that will cost you more over time. Then another smart uh, strategy is to consider consolidation. So here, basically, you merge all of your debts into one debt that has a low interesting rate. This makes it easier for you to, uh, to simplify your payments and to also save some money. And then, as the last step, we highly recommend you to set up a payment plan. Basically, this is the, for you to work out a realistic payment that fits well your budget. For this, we also give you this tip for you that you could consider to automate your payments in order to make sure that you are not missing any uh, payment deadline. And basically, this was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. So today we covered, we started to talk about basics and important yeah. budgeting. Then we also had a look at the different steps to create an effective budget. Then for the second part of the video, we start to analyze the basics and importance of managing debt. And we also gave you some strategies that you can use to manage in your debt. For next class, then you are going to talk about investment and retirement. So I hope to see you in the next class.